Witnesses report seeing a number of casualties covered in blood after an explosion on a busy rush hour commuter train. At least 22 people including children have been hurt after a terrorist's bomb exploded on board a packed London underground train. Witnesses reported seeing a number of casualties covered in blood after their blast on a busy commuter carriage at Parsons Green Underground Station, near Fulham, West London, during rush hour. While most victims suffered flash burns, others are said to have been hurt in the ensuing panic as people fled the station screaming and in tears. A number of hospitals declared a major incident with staff on standby. None of the injuries are said to be life-threatening. Armed police and counter-terror officers rushed to the scene, which has been cordoned off while forensics teams comb the area for clues. The security service MI5 is assisting the investigation and a major manhunt is underway for the bomber. Britain's top counter-terror chief Mark Rowley said said the explosion was caused by the detonation of an improvised explosive device. Images emerged showing a large white bucket in flames on the floor of the train carriage inside a little bag with wires hanging from it. Tube passenger Chris Wildish said he saw flames coming from the device which had a strong smell of chemicals. Security services confirmed to Sky News that they believe there was a timer attached to the bomb. Meaning, of course, that whoever it was who placed this bomb on the carriage floor would not have been present at the time, said Sky's home affairs correspondent Mark White. He added, that is important. If there's a timer with this device it will give them an indication that perhaps the suspect didn't disembark the train with other panicked passengers at Parsons Green. They'll be looking at the stations before Parsons Green to determine whether an individual left the train at that point. The blast comes as Britain remains on high alert following a series of terror attacks in Westminster, London Bridge and Finsbury Park this year. Mayor of London Sadiq Khan appealed for calm and vowed London will never be intimidated or defeated by terrorism. Prime Minister Theresa May was receiving regular updates on the situation as she held a meeting of the government's emergency Cobra committee. She condemned the attack as cowardly and said the threat level would remain as severe. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted, Another attack in London by a loser terrorist. These are sick and demanded people who were in the sights of Scotland Yard. Must be proactive. School children could be seen being evacuated from one of two trains at the station following the incident. Tube services on the district line between Earls Court and Wimbledon were suspended. Witness Luke Walmsley said people suffered hand, foot and head injuries in the stampede that followed the blast. He told Sky News. It was sort of every man for himself when that happened. The burn victims had severe leg injuries and no sign of clothing, it was just torn through. It was a very busy commuter train, young and old, school children going to their schools.